In this video, we go from this to this. This is my just about basically finished kit bash for the Scavcat catamaran. It's got a nice weight to it. I like that. <laughs> not too heavy, not too light. Yeah, that's the first time I've really like picked it up. <laughs> There are a lot of details in here, a lot of kit bashing and scratch building. So let me show you what I did. First, we'll start with the 3D print that I made in the previous video. The model came out pretty great, but there are a few problems with it. So I gotta lay it out, test that it fits, and make sure everything will go together well. I sculpted out these little keys for it, but it was my first time trying it and they didn't turn out quite well. So I gotta cut them down just a bit. Then it's time for glue. Next, let's move on to the deck of the ship. We're gonna make this one out of some wood skewers, but they're a little tough to cut. Got it. More gluing. Once that's good, time to try it out on the boat. Looking good so far. Let's test out some models. These models are from Print Minis. And I'm using them here to measure out how much space I can take up with kit bashing and scratch building. Once I have a rough idea of how much space I'm going to use, it's time to get cutting. This section is going to be made out of a little bit of plastic packaging. Whenever I can, I always try and find a way to use some trash. The flat pieces are gonna make up the bulk of the engine block, but I gotta make sure they're square and I might as well use this hole for something. Let's make a vent. Now, look at that. Turned out pretty well. Once I have the engine block all blocked out, it's time to move on to some of the other pieces. This is a technique I learned while building for Gaslands as a way to get good little rivets on your panels. I use this a lot. 
Now, it's time to welcome a new member to the Tool family. This is my new Dremel, kindly built by my father-in-law. The actual Dremel part is apparently used for nails, and this battery pack was built by my father-in-law. All the way down to the handy dandy little inside secret compartment, including all the bits that I'll need. I use this pretty extensively on my Halloween project this year, and it works great. But this was my first time trying it out on hard plastic. Time for a quick test fit. This is a 10 by 20 centimeter base plate that I made to make sure it'll fit and be usable in the skirmish game. Looks good so far, after some adjustments. While the setting of Spire Seas is a mostly sailing focused, I'm not sure if I'm going to finish this in time, so I made sure to make the mast magnetized so that I could pop it out and pop it back in whenever I want. Boing! Now for some details. As you can see, I've already added a lot of the wires and a few extra little panels down. A lot of this was done over the month of October while I was busy with Halloween and other little projects like Inktober. But now I'm back at it, adding in these refined details like armor panels, pipes, wires, and a little magnetized front deck. Using my homemade magnet up-down stick, I place in the magnets on the front. They're pretty tough, pretty strong, and they hold this frame. The back right side felt a little bit empty, so I added this little guy. as well as a little holder for this flagpole slash antenna and my solar panel. A bit more armor plates and a little handle. Lastly, knowing that I wasn't going to finish the whole sail in time, I added this little short mast. And with that, for now, we're finished. Time for glamour shots. This is part three of my first YouTube series, so if you missed part ones and two, you can go back and take a look. In part four, we're going to be adding paint to this to make all those details stand out and make it look like it really belongs on the water. 
I've never painted anything this big before. In fact, I've really not painted much at all. So I'm a little nervous about it, but I think it's going to be fun. I think I can learn a lot from doing it. I'm excited to see how it turns out. Hopefully everything will come together, and if you want to see, you can stick around here on YouTube. Or you can see more up-to-date progress pics on my Instagram, at Deluvian Chronicles. I really hope it turns out well. <laughs>